Hi Soul Family, this is Latanya with Saggy Soul. Thank you for tuning in for your bi-weekly reading. Uh, this will be from March the 2nd through March the 15th. I've already completed Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and I've just completed Sagittarius and Leo. Now I'm on to Aries. Before I get started, let me say happy Mardi Gras, right? Um, also, thank you to all my old subscribers. I really appreciate you. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you and welcome and thank you for subscribing. Uh, thank you for the emails. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the likes and dislikes because it's all energy, right? This will not resonate with everyone. So maybe 5%, maybe 1%, maybe one or two people, um, whoever is meant to hear it the most. Continue to check your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus sign, your Neptune sign, your Mars sign, your North Node, your South Node, all those areas in your birth chart, right? Um, okay, Aries, I have already set my intentions and I have already done my prayer off camera. Let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle. So I hope you're having a great weekend, getting rest, movie, TV binging, Internet shopping within moderation. Do people still window shop? <laughs> uh, all right. Aries. One more. Aries. Mm, one more. Oh my goodness, Aries. One more. I just don't want to shuffle. Okay, let's cut the deck. Aries, your focus. The devil. Major Arcana. You're upset about something or maybe you know a Capricorn you also have the ace of Pentacles you also have the four of Pentacles in the reverse you also have the ten of Pentacles in the reverse you also have the Princess of Pentacles, which is just like the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. You also have the Five of Swords. And you also have the Three of Swords in the reverse. Hmm. Okay, Aries, let's come on down and see what's going on here. Aries, your focus, hmm. the devil, major arcana. Hmm. All right, so this is interesting. This is uh, bondage, right? This is being tied to a situation thing or uh, even a person, right? Just overall codependency, codependency in a relationship also, right? Um, some type of habit or addiction. And um, a choice between uh, strength or an indulgence we have, right? But let's keep going and see what's on the board. You also have 
the Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. Now, we know with Aces, there are always new beginnings, right? New beginnings in jobs and relationships and business uh, situations. And particularly with the Ace of Pentacles, this is some type of material or spiritual uh, abundance, some type of contentment or opportunity to create something new and just to understanding that uh, I need to stay grounded. But let's keep going and see what else is on the board. You also have the Four of Pentacles hmm, in the reverse. Now in the upright, this is holding on to our coins and holding on to the way we feel and habits and not really wanting to take new opportunities or take risk in new love or old love or anything that matters, right? Just a loss of connection to others at times. But in the reverse, this is sometimes letting go and allowing love and feelings to flow freely, a clarity of what matters the most and finding balance and sometimes wanting to be generous in an equal give and take with others. But let's keep going. You also have hmm, the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Now on the upright, this is an abundance, right? This is Abundance and relationships and families and foundations and prosperity and stability and just overall building legacies. But in the reverse, this is some type of financial loss. This is some type of emotional loss. This is a bad risk that we even perhaps took with uh, family money, right? And even a loss in a family foundation. You also have the Princess of Pentacles which is just like the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Now in the upright, we know that pages again bring news and opportunities and with the Page of Pentacles, this is something new coming in and finances and news regarding good health and just a bold um, enthusiasm for a new creative idea or relationship. But in the reverse, this is flightiness. This is bad news. This is someone who could be an opportunist and someone who could be immature, right? Because pages are also young adults, adults under the age of 35. And they could also be children and they could just be adults who are just very immature and very uh, mentally unstable, right? You also have Five of Swords. This is winning at all costs, right? This is sometimes being a narcissist. This is someone who bullies others to get what they want in this world, whether in a workplace or in a relationship. This is also someone who is not very well spiritually balanced, right? But let's keep going. You also have... The Three of Swords. Hmm. In the reverse. Now in the upright, this is heartache, right? This is betrayal. This is infidelity. This is lies and just overall deception, right? And in the reverse, this is coming out of that heartache, right? This is discovering those untruths and understanding what the what those betrayals were and sometimes regret and sometimes confusion over things or situations that have happened in, to us in the past so aries on the board we have swords air signs aquarius gemini libra we also have pentacles Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. We also have the devil, Capricorn. And the devil could be any sign, right? 
And then remember, this is could be placements anywhere in the birth chart. Aries, you are bound by something. This is not going to be for everyone, right? But there is someone who's dealing with some type of codependency. Aries, this is you or the cross watcher. Some type of codependency or some type of vice or addiction. And maybe this addiction is with a younger earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Maybe it involves sex and maybe it involves drugs. But whatever's happened, there will be a, a new start, right? Maybe a new start in a new relationship with this person because I see a foundation has been lost. And maybe because at one point in time, Aries or Aries Cross Watcher, you were holding on to secrets, holding on to money, holding on to third parties. And maybe this third party Aries is the one who got you started into certain vices, right? Maybe this third party knew that you had a foundation Aries and they saw opportunity to manipulate you with drugs or maybe even sex. Hmm. But I see you now trying to open up and maybe even trying to get your foundation back. But Aries, if you, or Aries Cross Watcher, if you haven't done the work and that addiction is still there, how do you expect to get your foundation back? Because I'm sure your partner or your spouse, they know about this person. They may have had all the details and the things that you do in the dark, right? So, Aries, you're not only thinking you're getting away with something, but... There's an empty victory here when you lose your foundation. There's an empty victory here when you lose your family. And again, this could be Aries or the cross watcher that I'm speaking with, right? Because no one wins. Everyone is broken hearted. Your family is broken hearted. Your spouse, your partner, your children. Your foundation is broken. And that's an empty victory. Matter of fact, if you think that's a victory, that's a narcissist type of mindset. Right? Especially if you're thinking of holding on to this extra party. You've destroyed your family in the midst of that. You would still hold on to this person who probably introduced you to all those vices in the first place. 
Hmm. So Aries, you have a codependency on something. Sex, drugs, someone else's money. Or this could be Aries Cross Watcher, right? So this is not going to resonate for everyone. But this is someone who has some type of vice, drug addiction, sex addiction, addiction, and they lost their foundation. And even if you try and go back to repair your foundation, you know, there's still the addiction. That needs to be solved first. The work needs to be on yourself first. All right, so for whoever this is out there, let's get some positive cards of inspiring thoughts. I am ready to receive love. Exactly. Now, you probably don't have this foundation anymore, but you still have your, hopefully, your long-term spouse or your long-term partner and your children still care about you, right? And they don't want anything bad to happen to you. They want you to get help with whatever situation or addiction you're dealing with. I am ready to receive love. And you have to love yourself first. You have to admit to whatever the problem is first, right? Sometimes no one, sometimes no is the most loving response. Exactly. Sometimes no. Right? Putting ourselves in harm's way. Sometimes no is the most loving response. Not allowing others to destroy families and foundations that we've built. All right? This was legacy here. Over someone who is mentally unstable. Probably not even financially stable. And all they have to offer you is advice. All they do is offer something that feeds perhaps into your addiction, right? So, again, this will not resonate with everyone. So, Pisces, this is your reading from March the 2nd through March the 15th. Please subscribe, like, share, and of course, comment. Thank you for tuning in to Saggy Soul and from one soul to another soul. I love you, soul family. Have a great week.